Hello. You know me, and I know you. I'm Nana, and we have some new ideas we want to share with you. And it involves these. You see? These are paintbrushes. They're mine. You can see the paint down here on the handles and some old color even on the bristles. They're wonderful instruments. And I would like to show you how to use them. We have been using pastels, which are beloved to us, for a long, long time. But we're going to be going into a different area. We're expanding your knowledge and your expertise. I have just recently been on a trip overseas. And I studied with a wonderful, wonderful artist in Scotland who opened my eyes and my mind to brilliant, brilliant colors that are in paint. Now, I have painted for longer than probably your, your parents have been alive. I've been painting a long time. I paint with, with acrylics and I paint with pastels. So today, I just want to share with you, just for a few minutes, the very few supplies that you would need to paint with me. Really paint and use a paintbrush. Now, my grandson calls acrylic paints forever paints because they are. They are forever. They go down on a canvas just like this, this canvas. This is a tiny little canvas. And they stay on there forever. And sometimes when you're painting, this is just water. You may have on a sweatshirt or a shirt and you just go, oh my goodness, I've gotten some acrylic paint on my shirt. It's forever. You can wipe it quickly with water, try to get it out, but my friend, it's on there. So when you paint with acrylics, you need to wear an apron or a shirt. Until you get used to painting with them, I recommend it. I try to paint every single day, either with acrylics or with pastels. And I always wear an apron when I paint for a long period of time. You don't see me in my apron because we're fancy when we, <laughs> when we make these videos. But hardworking artists use aprons shirts or smocks to protect their clothing. We don't want to have to have just paint t-shirts, okay? Now we've done that. Acrylics are a water-based paint. They do not mix with turpentine or other oils. They are to themselves, they are a plastic type paint. Now, here are some different paints that you can get at your local arts and crafts store or at Walmart or even at the dollar store. I mean, it's they're just everywhere and they're readily available. You can get a set this large for under $10 or you can get just little pots of paint, as we call them, which are the, the basic 
primary colors, and they're less than $10, and they come with a brush. You don't have to go and spend a lot of money. No, you don't. You don't. Now, I recommend that we start small. This is a 2x5 canvas, and it is pre-primed, which means that the canvas itself has been attached to the back and at the factory they've primed it with an acrylic binder. So you can either prime it again in a color that you like or you can leave it like this. Now this is a wonderful palette. I would suggest you try to find these when you go to your arts and crafts store. And you can put, you can squeeze out your colors in these little circles here. And this big circle in the middle, you can put your water in. So you dip in your paint, and you dip in your water, and you paint. Dip, dip, paint. It's very easy to do. We are going to go over all of this again each time we paint. I am so excited because we're going to be using my motto, which is never ever stop learning. You always keep learning. It stretches the mind and it makes you happy. It makes your eyes sparkle when you can do a painting all by yourself with Forever Paints. Now, I hope you will come on this journey with us. We just are jumping up and down with excitement. We cannot wait to get started. We'll go over the supply list again, but you have the basics. And I want you to rem remember Always, always remember, you are an artist.